Okay, I got an update on the filament winder. Um, figure I'd do some dry winding so I can capture what this actually looks like. Um, right now, uh, I've upgraded the tensioning mechanism so I can apply greater tension to the filament. Uh, so, bigger wheel to fit the rubber bands I had on hand. Uh, seam design, everything else. Uh, this is a 2 and 1 8 inch aluminum tube by 3 feet. Um, what I'm going for right now is speed. Um, last night I just wound a uh, tube with on a 1 inch and an eighth mandrel and it took about 40 minutes and that was 3 layers. Really trying to uh, cut down on time on this. Um, I just did a little dry, uh, empty sequence and it took me 9 minutes to get through the first layer and I want 4 layers for this tube. Um, it's going to be used for maybe a motor mount. I'm trying to dial in uh, how my tubes are, are finishing. They're a little bit lumpy yet. They're getting better. Um, I have some 3 quarter inch uh, shrink tape that seems to be helping a lot. But anyway, let's get this uh, get this running. I downgraded the stepper drives. So I can use uh, the, my nice 2209s for other projects. These are A4988s, I believe. Oddly enough, on the 2209s, I was getting some funny resonances. This seems to be pretty happy so far on well, this. I have uh, 4x microstepping on the uh, traverse drive and 16x microstepping on the uh, mandrel drive. Lines are laying nice and tight. This is a free start pattern. See uh, about a 45 degree wind angle. I have a four inch PVC pipe behind me that I want to eventually stick on this thing. Really have to question whether or not I have enough torque on this. Might have to do some uh, head end upgrades to maybe go up to a NEMA 23 motor or a 34. Who knows? At the, pretty much at the top end speed wise. Would like to go faster. That can be for the next version. This uh, fiberglass is only a 93 thousandths wide. When I start running the quarter inch wide carbon fiber, things will go a lot quicker. That and I could uh, get a second spool of fiberglass and run two filaments. Though so I'd have to redesign my carriage again for a second, whole second set of guide, guide rollers and a second tension wheel. That's enough for now, looking good.